hello guys this is Presh from Presh card and today we are going to continue our run on tangency okay we are going to be focusing on this diagram here and so let's begin the drawing okay first of all we will draw a line that is 57 mm long Seven then um, we would offset that line by forty four mm that's because of this distance here. So I will be able to get the center of this circle. So we we'll go to offset, specify offset distance, type 44, select object to offset, select the line, and then click. After offsetting that line, we just join it here. Alright, now the center of this circle here is 25 mm upward from this line so we have set this line by 25 mm offset specify offset distance 25 specify object to offset okay after doing that now we'll be able to draw the circle so okay for this one there are two of them of the same size and it's giving us diameter 12 so we'll go to center diameter. So we'll type in 12. The same thing for this one too, because they're the same. They're the same size, so the same dimension. Then after that, we'll draw this one here. This um this circle here of radius 15. After which, the same thing over here. Okay. Okay, having drawn them, we will draw this circle here of diameter 38. And um, there's a larger circle here of radius 32 as given here so we'll just draw that one immediately 32 okay then okay looking at this drawing here the main work is in this area here the base the main work is in the base so how do we go about it firstly We'll draw a line of 62 mm as given here. A line of 62 mm. So that we can be able to get the center of this circle here and this other circle out, the outer one also. The center is 62 mm away from this center here and is at an angle of 30 degrees or 300 degrees as well this 30 degrees but counting it but measuring from here this 330 yeah 330 degrees so how do we go about that what we do is we click on line and now we'll go to we'll go to polar tracking we'll select our polar tracking and then we'll set it to be on 30 60 90 after doing that, we'll click on this first point of the line, and now automatically, now this, this, this is um, um, 90, but then, you see we have gotten the angle we want, this is the angle we want, this is the angle we want, so we we'll just type the length as 62.
length 62. Having drawn that, would just uh, draw because this the length of this line here 63 is the same as the length of this one 62 as well. So we'll just click on line and draw 62. But now instead of using now I want this line to be very straight. So we'll click on auto mode. So the line is very straight. So we'll just click on so we'll just type in the length 62. Having drawn that we are now able to draw this circle here as well as the outer one. So what are the uh, um, dimensions? For the inner one is radius of 12. So we we'll just click on circle radius of 12. The same thing here. Now, the outer one is having um, a radius of 22. So, so, 22, 22. All right, so I'm progressing. After that, uh, let's join these two arcs. To, let's get this arc of radius 32. It's tangential to this circle and this one, so we'll just use tan tan radius. Just specify radius of circle 32, and there it is. Also, we have another one here tangential to these two circles at radius of 14, tan tan radius 14. No. Yes, that's it. And um, we have this line here that joins this point that tangentially there's at a tangent to this circle and this circle. So we just draw that line now. Just uh, click here. Okay, because of this auto mode, so remove it from auto mode. Then okay, there's an error here. How do we fix it? We go to parametric, select tangent, click on this and click on this. So the error has been removed. All right, we, yeah, we'll continue. We'll get this um, arc of radius 12, tan tan radius. Okay, then um, let's trim for now. Let's trim off the parts that we don't want. Trim, trim this guy. Trim, 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 trim. Uh, trim, 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 trim. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think that's all for now. Okay, okay, this one. 
Okay, that's, that's all for now. So we need to be able to get this arc here, this one, and this one. So how do we go about that? Okay, the radius of this arc here is 62 plus 22, that's 84. So use tan tan radius. You type 84. And then you hold your control button and press enter. So we'll do the same thing for this arc. This arc here is the radius of 62 plus 12. That is 74. So, seventy four. So, we just select this place. So, after drawing that arc, after doing the after drawing the circle, we trim. So we offset this arc here by 24. So we trim. So let's erase all the other unwanted parts. Okay, this is the complete drawing. Thanks for watching.